Social media advertising is an effective way for small businesses to get the word out about their products. Unfortunately, the same goes for scams. The 2020 Better, Better Business Bureau Scam Tracker Risk Report found that online purchase scams were the most common cons reported to Scam Tracker and the category with the most victims. Right, Roseanne Freitas, the Public Relations and Communications Manager with the Better Business Bureau, Great West and Pacific, now joins us now to tell us more about this. Good morning, Roseanne. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Yes, yeah, so more scams now on the social media. So tell me, how does these social media ad scams work? Well, they work in various ways. So one of them is they say they sell a product that supports charities. Of course, that appeals to us, and we want to have that product, and we also want to support charities. The challenge comes in that a lot of times, once you've purchased the item, you actually never receive it. And when you try to get hold of them, you just cannot do it. So it was just a fake all along. The other are those free trial offers. We all see them. You know, it only costs you so much. And then it turns out you've been signed on for this long-term commitment that you didn't even realize. So it's really important that you read that fine print so you have an understanding what those free trial offers look like. The other one is counterfeit merchandise. We all want that name brand. And they say on the website that it is the name brand. But once you go to order it, it's not really that name brand. A lot of times you may or may not receive it. Or if you do, it's really some sort of knockoff. And even probably bigger, it may not meet the safety and regulatory guidelines here in the United States. So we have to be careful with those. And then we see all sorts of different ads for different items that we want, whether it's clothing or beauty products. And again, we haven't done any research and we really don't know this company. So it's really important that we, again, understand who we're interacting with. And then, of course, those apps of unknown origin. You're going through your feed. You see them pop up on that social media. It sounds really cool. You click it. You download it. But you just don't know what you have downloaded. Yes, yeah, so, so this is just so of the times right now. Uh, we're always on social media, so these are just so prevalent. And uh, those free trials, those could get you to get a member to cancel them after the trial is done. So, Roseanne, what's the best way to avoid these types of social media scams? Well, be, be careful when you're on social media and understand you didn't necessarily go there for that. So you need to be careful because they're appealing to your emotions. So first of all, do your research. We say it all the time, but we just can't say it enough. Go ahead and do a background search on that company. You can go to BBB.org. You could also go to Google, type in the company's name, type in the word scam, complaints, reviews. Just get as much information. And if you can't find anything out there on the company, that is also a red flag. It could be a website that just popped up quickly for scamming. Also, look to see if they have a way to contact them. If you can't find a way to contact them, again, that's a red flag. Legitimate businesses let you know how to reach out to them. Using your good judgment, let's remember we have that. They really play to our desires to purchase things and to our emotions. So when you're shopping, take the emotions out and keep the brain engaged. And always read those terms and conditions carefully. I don't think we can say that enough. I know none of us want to read them because they make it so tiny, but it really does help to understand what you're getting into. And then pay with a credit card. That way you have some options should this be a fraudulent charge. And those are some great tips. And if you are a victim of this sort of scam, you can report it uh, also on social media. Go to the FTC website or report to the Better Business Bureau, uh, org slash scam tracker. Roseanne Freitas, thank you so much for everything you do, always keeping us up to date on all of these scams, trying to keep us safe. Thank you so much, and you have a wonderful day. Thank you, Chris.